Hi. The internet can be a really frightening place, but I don't know if there's a website that scares me as consistently as TikTok does. From cops acting like they're normal to no fab weirdos acting like you can't even look at your genitals without losing some testosterone, TikTok can be an unnerving place. What's especially weird though is that none of these things actually disturb me in the same way that diet TikTok does. Specifically, keto TikTok. For those of you who aren't familiar, the keto diet is short for the ketogenic diet, which, to make a long story short, you eat as few carbs as possible. Keto has actually been around for thousands of years as a treatment for epilepsy, but in the 1920s it was popularized in the United States as a treatment for epilepsy as well before we developed more effective drugs. The keto diet is used to treat epilepsy because it causes your body to mimic all of the symptoms of fasting, and one of those includes a lower brain function overall. So in short, not a good thing to do to your body. <laughs> really bad for you to just choose to do. Unfortunately, health has never really stopped diet culture in the past, so why would it now? Especially with how quickly and easily keto content can spread through TikTok and Facebook specifically, it can be really hard to counter all of that misinformation. The main appeal of keto is that you can eat all the meats and cheeses and fats that you want as long as you avoid carbs like bread and pasta and things like that. This makes it sound really easy and really appealing for a lot of people. In fact, a lot of people will call it lazy keto. But generally, it will cause a lot of weight loss at first because your body thinks you're starving, and then it kind of levels out or the weight will come back. This is true of a lot of diets and a lot of unsustainable eating habits. But before we get into it, here's a word from today's video sponsor, Scentbird. Father's Day is fast approaching and if there's anything that dads like, it's smelling. If you watch my videos, you already know that Scentbird is the number one fragrance subscription service and it is the best way to get fresh designer scents straight to your door every month. My favorite thing about Scentbird is that you can take a very easy and simple quiz on their website to determine exactly what fragrances are gonna be best for your lifestyle. Scentbird carries everything from designer brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace to niche brands like Skylar Heretic and Confessions of a Rebel. Whether you wanna discover your fragrance style, expand your collection, or deepen your relationship with fragrance, Scentbird is the place to go. Scentbird lets you choose a new fragrance every month that ships straight to your door for just $17 a month. This month, I received Bentley for Men Black Edition, David's Perfume Number no. 1 by Amber and Cashmere, and Confessions of a Rebel. My favorite fragrance by far from this month is Confessions of a Rebel. It has lavender in it, which I'm always a sucker for, but it's also just a really light, really floral scent that's just subtle enough, but not too subtle not to be noticed. Each Scentbird fragrance comes in a unique bottle where all you need to do is twist and spray, and if you need to check how much you have left, you can just pull it right out. That's nice. It's got frickin' bergamot and incense in it. How are you not gonna like that? You can use my coupon code Ethan55 for 55% off your first order at Scentbird, meaning you can get a fragrance for just over $7. If you're looking for a gift for Father's Day or just looking to smell a little better, make sure to use my code Ethan55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Thank you again so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and uh, keep smelling. Let's get back to it. Not only do diets like keto not even work in the long term, keto specifically has been linked to irritability, fatigue, insomnia, and those are just the short term issues. The longer you stay eating like this, the more damage you can do to your vital organs like your kidneys and your liver. You can even have low blood protein, which can affect all kinds of different things. It's not good. It's not good for you. It's really bad. I think it speaks a lot to the way we eat in the United States that a diet that has at least 100 years of research that is demonstrably ineffective in the long term for weight loss is still so appealing to people because you can still eat the meats and cheeses that are so readily available in supermarkets and fast food places. What I find really interesting about keto TikTok and keto in general on the internet is that the people who participate in it are extremely defensive. I don't know if it's the irritability linked to the way they're eating or if it's just like they're the K-pop stands of food. I'm certainly not a nutritionist and you should consult with your doctor or a nutritionist if you have one about what diet would be right for you if you're trying to lose weight, but no medical professional of any kind would recommend keto for weight loss. It's not good. It's not. It's just not good. <laughs> I understand that weight loss can be a difficult topic for a lot of people, myself included, but diet culture encourages a lot of behaviors that can be synonymous or can at least lead to eating disorders. So if you're gonna take anything from this video, please just be careful about the trends that you follow and make sure that you're doing what's right for your body. Now that the frickin' lecture is over with, what am I in frickin' college? School? Going to class? We're gonna look at some frickin' TikToks instead of learning.
This low-carb spicy Italian sub is amazing. Take one cut of carb flatbread and rub it down with olive oil. Sprinkle it with mozzarella cheese. Fold it over and microwave for 30 now seconds. Layer some ham, pepperoni, and salami. Provolone cheese, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, banana peppers, black olives, and put under the broiler until the cheese is melted. Add some lettuce, sliced tomato, and a little vinegar. Slice it in half, fold it up, and enjoy. Mmm, this tastes amazing. <laughs> Yeah, she sounded really convinced. This tastes amazing. Why does she sound like she's dying? <laughs> Is she okay? Please, this keto recipe, hear my tail. <laughs> there's nothing all that wrong with this. I mean, there's too much shit on this sandwich though. You put fucking salami and provolone and fucking mozzarella. Like there's two different meats, there's two different cheeses. You put it in the microwave and then the broiler. I mean, that's just a personal thing. I think that's kind of fucked up. I, my issue is more with the preparation of the sandwich and what's in it versus it being keto. But the thing with keto is that it's gonna make you over hungry because you don't have as many carbs in your stomach to fill you up because those last longer than things like protein. So of course you're gonna fucking layer the shit out of your sandwich with cheese and meat. And then if, if you put olive oil on it, that's gonna be so greasy, ew. <laughs> That's classic keto content right here. Instead of using any carbs or a tortilla, just use cheese. What the fuck world are you living in? <laughs> This should not be acceptable to any society. I feel like you could really make anything food related on TikTok and it would blow up. I mean, everyone gets food videos in their For You page and there's so many fucking weirdos on the internet that it's going to appeal to somebody. So it'll keep getting boosted in the algorithm because that's the fucking shit TikTok loves. People, TikTok loves food shit. And there is a part of me that sees it at the very end and I'm like, oh, that's some melty crispy cheese, but it's just cheese and meat and like a little bit of fucking seasoning. That looks gross. One of my favorite kinds of keto videos are the ones where it's like, here's Here's how I can eat at fucking Jimmy John's. Here's how I can eat at Olive Garden. Like, oh fucking thank God. <laughs> like you're trying to diet and you want and you're just like insisting that you want to eat at Olive Garden? Yeah? Really? <laughs> For my appetizer, I just had their house salad. I just took out the croutons, but I kept the black olives, red onions, and pepperoncinis in it. And for my main entree, I ordered the chicken alfredo, but I asked them nicely to substitute the pasta for broccoli, and it was so good. The whole thing is only eight net carbs. That's not enough carbs. You need more carbs than that. You do. I don't know what to tell you. A couple of things about this. One, you're just getting chicken and broccoli and cheese and salad. You can make that at home. You just paid $40 at fucking Olive Garden for this. And two, why did you hashtag chicken alfredo? You didn't get chicken alfredo. You got chicken and broccoli, like a child would eat. You got a kid's meal at Olive Garden, and now you're making a TikTok about it. In case you didn't know, you can do any sub as a salad at Jersey Mike's, and we call it a sub in a tub. And what it is is your favorite sub just in a bowl. So I did my favorite sub, which is a number eight, that's provolone, ham, turkey, mayo, and bacon if you'd like. I'm not going to put any mayo on mine, though. So I'm doing a low-carb diet, and this fits in perfect with what I'm trying to do. If you're on a special diet like low-carb or keto, and also this is a gluten-free option, another one of those that we got at Jersey Mike's. And you can do anything in a bowl, cheese steaks in a bowl. Like, it's revolutionary, guys. Y'all really need to go try it. I don't want to try that. <laughs> That looks really gross, man. You can't just take all the ingredients of a sandwich, put them on shredded lettuce, which is effectively water, and be like, well, it's healthy now. Like, fuck, man, I guess it's better than cheese tortilla burrito, but not by much. Like, I don't know how to break it to these people. Like, you might lose weight by doing this, but also you're dying. You're literally dying. Your body thinks you're starving. <laughs> but you know what? Thank fuck we get to eat at Jersey Mike still. Thank fuck if you're trying to do keto, you could still eat at Jersey Mike's. That's the really, that's the important part here. Here's a full day of low-carb keto eats. I'm starting with these jammy eggs, bloobs, feta cheese, cherry tomatoes. Don't call them bloobs. Don't do that. Just don't. Hey guys, my name's Stacy, and I've lost 70 pounds over the last year on Lazy Keto. This is one of my lunches that I absolutely love. You do not have to have 
any special ingredients. You can find it all in your pantry. So you're just gonna take some slices of cheese and lay that on a silicone mat or a baking sheet, pop it into the oven at 350 for about five to seven minutes until the cheese is melted and bubbly. And then I'm using canned chicken drained really, really well. If you're gonna use shredded chicken, why out of a can? At least cook. If you're gonna make gross shit, at least make it. Don't just, don't fucking get out of a can, come on. And then you're just gonna top that on to your cheese after it's cooled down. And then I top mine with ranch and pickles. Reminds me of what you get at a buffalo chicken sandwich at Subway. Roll it up and enjoy. You guys follow me here for- you can't do that. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> That's so gross. God, the amount of grease, dude. You're just gonna bite into that and it's gonna fucking piss all over you. That's so nasty. 80k likes, man. For that. Guys, here's my keto lunch for the day. I have three walnuts a strawberry, and 14 pounds of chicken covered in ranch and cheese. I feel great! Day 17. Eating only one egg a day for 60 days. Come on, man. How much value can you really get from cheese? Like, is cheese really that fucking good? Like, cheese is fine, it's good. I like cheese on stuff. But like, I would never wrap an egg in cheese and eat it like a fucking disgusting popsicle. What the fuck? Would you do keto if you could eat like this and lose weight? Would you do keto if you could eat like this and lose weight? I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Holy crap, this is so freaking good. You need pickles, any type of cheese, olive oil. Preheat oven to 350. Spray your muffin tin, put cheese on the bottom, put pickles, you can do one or two, put cheese on top, that's it. No, no, that can't be it, you can't. Why, I don't understand. Do you really just get that much satisfaction from eating just cheese? Like, keto has to fucking break these people's brains so much that they just, they just can't help it. They just love fucking grease and cheese. If you want them even crispier, pop them in the air fryer. Look how it holds its shape. Look at that. Yeah, because you made it in a muffin tin. No shit, it holds its shape. That's not an impressive feat of the cheese. This. <laughs> this. Not this. Anything but this. Please. Wow, this was super creative. Oh, those fucking eggs, dude. Oh my god, they're so overcooked. They're green. If you hard boil an egg and the outside is, of the yolk is fucking green, you've overcooked it. That shit's fucking powder. I know that, that yolk is just fucking powder. Oh! Check us. No! <laughs> no, you can't do that. This is just me laughing at recipes. This has to be a joke. Free Kato cookbook, link in bio. No shot, that's a joke. This has to be a joke. Someone said wrap it in bacon. No, how about don't do that? How about eat a fucking bagel? Oh yeah, they didn't put any salt on that. There's no seasoning. Keto is fucking cursed. More spinach. I mean, that's true. They put one leaf of spinach on a hard boiled egg and they're like, there's my fucking dinner. <laughs> Is this really what you want? Is this, is this what we have become? <laughs> this can't, this cannot go on. No, unacceptable. Like it's a, it's a bagel bite full of cream cheese. I get it, I get it, I get it. It sounds good. One, one sounds good. But this is what these people live off of. I wish cancel culture was real so I could remove these people from the internet. <laughs> no, this is not strawberry and cream. This is a breakfast taco. Why would you say that? It doesn't look like strawberries and cream, huh? New everything bagel seasoning. Real easy shells of Parmesan cheese and everything bagel seasoning. No. I have a conspiracy theory that the entire keto diet on the internet is manufactured by whoever the fuck makes everything but the bagel seasoning. The guy that said bloobs, he put it on his eggs and I could see it. So many of these motherfuckers 
will put everything but the bagel seasoning on shit. The last one with the bagel bites, what that was covered in, everything but the bagel seasoning. What the fuck is that? I've never heard of that. I don't want it. And why would you put that on a taco? And cheese will get crispy as you let it sit and you fold it like a taco. Wait, he covered the shell in it and then put it on the eggs. Do these people have a gas leak in their house? I whipped together one of my favorite five minute low carb snacks today to make these everything bagel mini peppers. First slice off the ends of eight mini peppers and de-seed each using a teaspoon, then mix together some softened cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. Why? Why? It's fine with just cream cheese. Just cream cheese and peppers is good. That's fine by itself. Why would you need to, t to taste like a bagel? Before transferring that mixture to a baggie and then using some scissors to trim one end off. Pipe the cream cheese mixture into each individual pepper, dunk each into some additional seasoning, and enjoy! What? Why? They're doubling up, all of them. They put it in the cream cheese and then they fucking put it on top. Why? Why do you need your fucking peppers to taste like bagels? Lunchtime today, I've been killing this keto bread that I found from Kroger. I know it's not new, um, but this is the first time I've seen it. The Aldi bread that I found, I just threw it in the trash because I didn't like it. This one, I've been making avocado toast every day. Avocado, a little lime, that's it? Okay. And top with everything bagel seasoning. Why would you put it on avocado toast? Am I thinking wrong? Am brain bad? Am I confused on what everything bagels are or something? Because apparently there's some universal fucking food that goes with everything. Also, pickle sandwich, ham, Colby Jack cheese and a Klassen pickle. She has bread right there. She could just put at least an open-faced sandwich together. She could just put that shit on the bread and it would be much more bearable. But the, she wants to eat it like that. Why? And washing it all down with berry blue ketones. Oh, finally, they made keto water. Thank God. My fucking god. That is some of the grossest shit I've ever seen. They look like little fucking rats wrapped in cheese. They look like little pieces of shit. Wow, this looks super easy. No! <laughs> don't, no, you're melting cheese in the microwave. <laughs> M, M, M. No! No, no! They're putting bagel seasoning on it. At least it makes sense this time because these are bagels, but these look like shit. Just eat a bagel. It's okay. Kato doesn't have to be hard. Check out other recipes like this. Oh my god, that is so much dairy. <laughs> that is so much, dude. You just fucking dump a whole thing of fucking cream cheese into a pepper. Yeah, it's gonna taste good, but you're gonna die. That's terrible for you. And that's like all you eat now that you put fucking bagel seasoning on it. So I guess it's fine. Free Kato cookbook. Link in bio. That chicken looks fucked up, man. That chicken looks hurt. <laughs> All in all, I understand that this video might have just boiled down to me looking at cursed recipes on TikTok and being like, ew. But I mean, they deserve it. The keto diet is not healthy, period. And the amount of keto content on the internet is almost impossible to talk completely about in one video. You can make an entire series about keto diets and what exactly is wrong with them. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna look at these anymore. But the fact that the people who make these videos are so adamant that it's healthy and good for you and you could be unrestricted, you just don't need to eat bread and you'll lose weight, you will. It's very frustrating to see because a lot of the behaviors that they encourage are adjacent to eating disorders or can lead to them. But regardless, I hope you got something out of this video, whether it was a quick laugh or whether you learned something about how much cream cheese you could put in a bell pepper with chicken. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like if you had a good time or subscribe for more videos just like this every week. Make sure to tune in next week where I wrap myself in cheese, put myself in the oven, and feed myself to all of you. Bye. Thank you so much to all my incredible supporters over on Patreon. If you'd like to join the Patreon, it's just $5 a month for a video thumbnail the day before it comes out and your name at the end of the video just like this.